That was great. Before we go on, there's a couple of things I'd like to tell you about tomorrow night's nostalgia. At 9 o'clock, that wicked program which everybody talked about in the early 80s, not the 9 o'clock news, is back. Followed half an hour later by an extraordinary award-winning play which also had everyone talking or arguing about it on giant shoulders. And guess who will be sitting here? Sylvia Peters. Well, my time's up now, and I don't think I made a single mistake. Thanks to these and the autocue. Good night. This is the BBC television service. Good evening. You know, it must be all of 30 years since I last uttered those immortal words. When I was an announcer at Alexandra Palace, the one thing that I dreaded most of all was to find myself on duty on Guy Fawkes' night. It could be rather hazardous. I would spend most of the evening saying, ladies and gentlemen, we must apologise yet again for another breakdown. But the public continue to throw fireworks onto the balcony that surrounds this studio and have damaged some very sensitive electrical equipment. We are doing our best to correct the fault, but in the meantime, we will play you some music. And here I am, Guy Fawkes' night again, and, and I'm on duty again. I'll just keep my fingers crossed. Oh, by the way, if you are using fireworks tonight, please, please be very, very careful. Now, to celebrate 50 years of television, the BBC are showing again some famous old programmes. And to tell you about them, they've invited some famous old television announcers, and they don't come much older than me. My name is MacDonald Hobley, and tonight, for one night and only one night, I'm going to don the mantle of an Alley Pally announcer and tell you what we have in store for you. At 6.30, you can see an episode based on James Herriot's best-selling books about a vet in the Yorkshire Dales. All creatures, great and small. But until then, why not sit back and enjoy again the bawdy humour of Up Pompeii, starring Frankie Howard? Need I say more? Good evening. I'm Valerie Pitts, and the last time I was here in this studio, Studio A at the Television Centre, was in March 1965, and despite modern technology, it hasn't changed at all. We were the girls of the early 60s, of 405 lines and black and white television. Colour television hadn't arrived, although we did take part in colour television tests, which happened after close down, down at Lime Grove Studios in the middle of the night. Satellite television was just beginning, and so there was no question of having a live on-the-spot report from our man or woman in wherever it was. I was fortunate enough to be on duty when the first live pictures arrived from America via Goonhilly Downs, and again when Yuri Gagarin emerged from his spacecraft. They were very exciting days for us all. Well, amongst this evening's programmes are three which started in the 1960s, the Z Cars, which began in 1962, the Royal Ballet performance of Stravinsky's The Firebird with Nadia Narina and Diane Bergsma, and Monty Python's Flying Circus, which started in 1969. Also this evening, there'll be the Generation Game and Dennis Potter's prize-winning play, Blue Remembered Hills. But also, there'll be an extra item which isn't in Radio Times, and to me personally, it'll be the highlight of this evening's programmes because it's the first thing I ever saw on a television set. It's the epic short film about a train journey, London to Brighton, in four minutes. And that will be at 7.25, immediately after Z Cars. But to start, the panel game of all panel games, What's My Line, with Gilbert Harding, Isabel Barnett, Barbara Kelly, Cyril Fletcher, introduced, of course, by Eamon Andrews. What's 
my line, welcome. Let's meet the panel again. Here we go. Cyril Fletcher. Hello. Isabel Barnett. Hello. Barbara Kelly. And Gilbert Harding. Now, as you know, they've got to try and guess the lines or jobs of various people. I'm a secret lemonade drinker. Oh, it's 